Hello and welcome back to Dobbs Cycle Works. My name is Dobbs. My apologies for being a while since I've had a video come out. Uh, been a little bit busy. Uh, we had to move unexpectedly. Uh, we got married, expectedly. A uh, lot of other things going on, so just didn't have a whole lot of time to uh, get around to making videos, but we are back. We are here in what is going to be the new Dobbs Cycle Works headquarters, our lovely loft warehouse here that we are now living in. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. The thing I wanted to talk about today is Shimano, and Shimano is finally recalling Holotech 2 crank sets. Now, for those of you who are paying attention on Reddit, any sort of forums, anything like that, you've probably seen a lot of buzz of this going around for the last couple months, if not years. There have been some problems with Shimano crank sets delaminating and causing accidents and really just completely destroying the crank set in the process. So Shimano the other day finally did issue a recall for these crank sets. Now this is going to affect several different models. What this is going to affect here is going to be the Shimano Ultegra FC 6800, the Dura-Ace FC 9000, the Ultegra FC 8000, and the Dura-Ace 9100, also the uh, Dura-Ace 9100P. So what that means is that if you have one of these 11-speed crank sets from either Dura-Ace or Shimano that were manufactured, I believe it's between July of 2012 to July of 2019, these could be subject to the recall. Now really all you need to do to figure out if you're, you're Crank set is part of this recall is to go on Google Bing if you're one of those idiots that's using Bing. Any search engine, just search for Shimano recall. It'll come up. You'll be able to find the consumer report from either the US government or from the uh, Shimano release themselves. Basically, it's gonna give you the information that you're gonna need to check if yours is. Now, I would show you on my bike exactly how to do this, but I can't because mine's in the shop because it's part of the recall. Yes, the second I saw the issue go out, I checked, I got out of bed, it was probably two in the morning and I got up, checked my crank and it is indeed part of the recall. Now I do have a little picture that I can show you and there's plenty of examples online that you can find of how to figure this out. Basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna look at the inside of your crank arm and it's gonna say the basic information, you know, Shimano Japan, the size of the crank, 175, 172.5, any of those kind of things. Right below there is you're gonna have a two letter code now this two letter code is a production code. That's gonna kind of tell you where it was produced, when it was produced, all that kind of basic information like that. With these two letters, that's basically all you need. Now there's quite a lot of them. Mine personally was RC, so if you see something like that, and if you check the, um, the Shimano release or the US government report, you should be able to find this list. And I'll also put it up here in the video and in the comments so that you guys have that here. So. This has been going on for quite some time. I started hearing rumors of this probably back in 2017 of the 6800 delaminating. When I first heard of these reports, all it was was the 6800. I hadn't heard of anything else having problems, but the, um, and it was also told to me that it was isolated to one specific factory. They had gotten that taken care of. They knew what they were doing they got it. So it didn't seem like that big of a concern to me, but as it goes on, more and more starts happening. And again, this specifically affects 11 speed crank sets. So if you have 12 speed, if you're nice and rich and you've been able to upgrade, unlike the rest of us peasants, then don't even listen to this. If you're like my dad and you were still running Dura Ace 10 speed, then yeah, you don't need to listen to this either. This is specifically for Dura Ace and Ultegra 11 speed uh, crank sets. But we've been hearing a lot of rumors about this. It even got to the point where there is an Instagram account called Thanks Shimano, which literally is just pictures and pictures of all of these people who have experienced this and had their crank set delaminate and cause crashes. Now, according to the, um, the release that was sent out to us by Shimano, they have, had, they have received 4,519 incidents. Uh, it looks like these were sold January 2012 through August 2023. So these were still being sold up to last month. Um, retailed between 270 and 1500. And yeah, these could be on spec bikes that you bought brand new as the bike. The crank set came on it 
as is, it could be on that. Or if you're like me and you bought the group set as its own and upgraded an existing bike, also check those crank sets as well. It takes two seconds and then all you need to do is take it into a certified Shimano dealer. Your local bike shop should be one. Uh, maybe call ahead and just check. Take it into them, they'll do the inspection and then they will have either the part replaced or you'll be good to go. So I really do kind of see this personally for me as a good thing because either my crank is okay and we're good to go or I get a brand new one for free. But that doesn't stop the fact that 4,519 people did have separations as reported. Six reported injuries, including bone fractures, joint displacements, and lacerations, basically anything you would see with a bike crash. But um, a lot of people have been wondering why they didn't do the recall sooner. And I don't wanna sound cold, I don't wanna sound cruel. I kind of understand why they did it. I don't want anyone to be hurt riding a bike, but when your numbers of the affected units are 760,000, something like that, and you have about 4,519 incidents reported, that works out to about 0.5 of the units that were affected. So I understand not doing a recall, but I wanna make this clear. I'm saying I understand it, not that I agree with it. I think they should have done the recall way, way sooner, 4,519 to me too much, but I do understand the logistics of this and it's a little bit of chaos right now. It's chaos for a lot of people. Um, a lot of people were missing rides this weekend, and, but that's the that's the least of it. You know, I'm lucky enough that I do have backup bikes. I don't really need the tarmac to be able to go ride right now, but a lot of people are going to be missing out and for an un unknown amount of time because when I took mine into my local shop yesterday, they told me I was about the fourth or fifth person that had come in that morning and they said, we might hear something Monday, we don't know. A lot of bike shops are reporting this that they don't have a lot of information on what's actually going on and what needs to be done for the replacements and how that's actually gonna work with shipping them out and how long it's gonna take because this is 760,000 units they are recalling for inspection. So this is kind of a nightmare. This isn't just North America. It is affecting uh, Europe, Asia as well. This one is specifically for America, the 760,000. So that does mean that it could be even larger. I'm also not positive if when they say 4,519 incidents and six injuries, if they are only referring to North America or even just the USA, or if this does include the rest of the world. Because when you look at the Thanks Shimano uh, Instagram channel, this is happening constantly. And I'm seeing it across numerous groups of people reporting this happening. It's not just a one-off thing that kind of was a random defect in one model. It's happened across five models from a span of 11 years that they were produced. They were sold for 11 years. So Shimano, what, what were you doing? <laughs> like, what was this all just to get everybody on Campagnolo and SRAM or something? And I, listen, I will say I do love Shimano. I love my old Tegra R8000. I think it's a fabulous group set for not only being a wonderful 11 speed group set for being easy to work on and also just solid. I've had great experience with it. I didn't even personally notice any sort of issues with my crank set when I did my own visual inspection, but I'm not a certified Shimano rep, so I can't give that all clear and say we're good to go. I figured it was better to just take my bike in and you know, kind of go from there. We'll see what happens. Um, if you are affected by this recall, take your bike in. Just call your local shop, make sure they can take it and they can do the inspection for you. They should even have a printout of the, uh, the recall that was sent to them by Shimano. Just talk to them, get your bike in. It may be a little while, but it's overall worth it because when you look at some of these pictures of these delamin delaminations, I don't really want that happening when I'm riding. So take your bike in. Like I said, um, I will put all the information down in the comments and in the description so you guys can check it out. Uh, let me know if you have had one of your Shimano cranks delaminate and cause an issue like this, if you had it broken. Um, unfortunately, what I'm hearing is that if you threw the crank away previously, you're kind of out of luck, which I think is really not the greatest in the world. Again. I understand why you wouldn't do it. That doesn't mean I like it and agree with it. Um, 
So hopefully if you did have a crank that delaminated, you did save it because then you can bring it in, show them it will get replaced, you'll get a brand new one for free. Even if you've already replaced it, but you still have that crank, go ahead and take it in, let them take a look at it, you get a free crank. So really kind of win-win on that part. Um, but yeah, I will put all the information down there and we're gonna keep up on this. This isn't gonna be the only video I do on this because I'm gonna have to wait until I get my bike back to really kind of even take a look and show you some things on here, um, which I honestly don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna be. This could be Monday, it could be next week, it could be two weeks because we just are not sure on what's going on. Hopefully by Monday I will have some more information and maybe I can even do a little update then and uh, yeah, we're just gonna follow this because this is this is a big story. This is, uh, this is gonna be affecting a lot of people and I think there are gonna be a lot of people that are not too happy with Shimano on this, um, on this issue. So again, if you have been affected by it, let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you have a bike that is being recalled or the crank set specifically being recalled or if you have had one of these cranks that delaminated. Let me know what your experience was with it and if you had to reach out to Shimano and try to deal with them before they issued the recall and what was going on. Because uh, from what I can see, it is just chaos all over the place on this one. But everybody, I hope you stay safe out there. Take your bike in, get it checked out if you need to. Other than that, I will see you next time and uh, expect some more videos coming very, very soon.